वेलकम टू आवर न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ डेटा एनालिटिक्स पॉडकास्ट टुडे वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑन अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक एंड इट्स पोटेंशियल एंड वी आर हैविंग अंजनी कुमार विद अस वेलकम अंजनी वेलकम टू आवर न्यू एपिसोड हाय प्रेम हेलो अंजनी सो वी जस्ट वांटेड टू नो योर इनसाइड्स व्हाट्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक सो वी हैव हर्ड अ लॉट अबाउट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फैब्रिक So, uh, could you tell me what it is all about? Yeah, so it's uh, it's a next generation data analytics platform where you can do everything uh, that that anyone as a data engineer or someone who is doing to do analytics can do it. So the best thing about it is the one leg, the concept of one leg in the in the background of Microsoft Fabric. So one leg is what is you know um, is. something which people have envisioned for long it's not a new concept it's just a name uh, which is little different in terms of uh, you know conceptualization and terminology but uh, we I, i remember that back in back 20 year 25 years back also uh, when people were used to build data warehouse they used to you know uh, envision around that how would they centralize all of their data from their organization to one place so that data should not leave in silos silos means that someone is building something and he has his own small data uh, uh, platform and other department has his own data platform and no one is knowing what is the actual source of that data is and that has been a, a biggest uh, problem for most of the you know chief data officer or you talk about uh, Uh, anyone as a ceo or anyone who is trying to see the latest of the business the analytics on their business uh, the latest numbers and how they are churning on uh, it becomes it, it it has been a problem in the past and today also it has been a problem what has happened with the i will again again talk about delta lake and and, and the beauty of delta lake as we talk in the last session is that uh, it's a format which any source any tool um, Uh, like a multiple platform can utilize it and data is saved in a format in a way that anyone can you know read it easily so so what happened that with microsoft fabric this has been made a easy easy thing uh, why is why you would say a easy easy thing is microsoft has office 365 and it has its own you know the whole platform where you talk about power platform you talk about power bi We talk about Power Automate, and, and th- th- there's a whole gamut of technology that Microsoft has de- uh, developed. It's called no-code, low-code technology. Over and above that, it has Teams, and Teams has a lot of that. SharePoint has a lot of that, right? People were not able to utilize everything at one place with one leg platform at Microsoft Fabric. Now everything can be dies uh, reside into ADLS Gen 2, which is already being used by. Many technologies and most of the places where if you use Azure for your data engineering, you use ADLS Gen 2. But it's not just ADLS Gen 2. You can also, you know, store your data into and then keep keep storing your data into AWS S3 or uh, Google Cloud or wh- wherever you want. So the fabric behaves in a way that data can remain at the place you want, but it structure its scope is the metadata. and all the you know the definition of the data at one place and it's all you will not believe it's all in a data table format so it becomes a data lake house in the background uh, which has everything in the data table format and that can be easily written to it and you can you can read also from it so what happens that whenever someone try to use fabric uh, in the background he doesn't need to copy like he doesn't need to do create multiple copies of data right obviously you will when you are building a warehouse or your data mesh architecture anyone would love to do it because data mesh is all about multi cloud you know your new modern data lake house is all about multi cloud and when you need to store data into multiple places right and you want somewhere that data can is not you know written and over written again and again fabric is the best uh, suited technology for and, and platform for it and the good thing is that you you can now with the power of fabric and the way it store data even the power bi has evolved and and, and there is a new uh, there are new changes to power bi that has come which power bi is used for i would like to tell you user is used for analytics what happens that now 
you don't have to even create a copy of your data into Power BI for analytics purposes. It can directly be used from one leg in the in the background of February, and that can be stored in a different format. For and, and the format is already well known into the market and well established. Parquet, which is also the you know the base of Delta Table. So what happens that whether your file is in team, it's an unstructured data. Whether you are creating a table and whether you are creating uh, maybe uh, 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 unstructured form of data, you can or JSON data or any specific format of data, you can keep everything together on your one leg. And and there are chances that you you may have already data existing in your Synapse workspace in your you know. Uh, Databricks workspaces and all, and they can all and many of things are being onboarded at, that, at this point of time. They can directly be linked to your one leg platform. So what happens that your data may reside at different places. It seems like, and you will be able to query your data from one fabric platform. That's the best thing. Another thing is, whenever you try to, you know, create a, uh, uh, and, and, and you know, there are different technologies that Microsoft has created, like Azure Data Factory. Synapse, Synapse Analytics, uh, Power BI, and there are multi, multi, multi -tools, multitude of tools which are there in the data engineering space. They all have been integrated onto the fabric over and above that one line. So be it Synapse, be it Azure Data Factory, be it Power BI, so everything is there. And every, 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 each of these platforms can easily utilize the data which is there in the, in the, in, which is there on your fabric one line platform. So, so, so the difference is not much in terms of concept because many people and we have been doing with different client um, uh, uh, and implementing the concept from one leg in, term, in, a, in a little different way where we are uh, building data lake house on you know delta lake delta table and then doing things. But but the biggest problem is that even if you make your client understand because there may be different departments. They, it's not easy to bring them all on one place or one board. So they may um, like end up into building multiple, you know, storages or you know, uh, different services uh, uh, that 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 may suit their business. But the problem was because of their budget and the capability. Now organization can just use one platform, and there anyone. With a you know uh, uh, with a standard security access, uh, which which it applies to all of these platform, can use their data from one place. So even just think about that you are able to query data from you know one leg platform in February to your Excel, and through Excel you can also you know upload into back into Power BI. So that's the beauty of Microsoft Fabric is that you you are able to utilize you know the data in a real sense and that's the real data democratization that I, that, I, you know, that, that every data engineer or architect uh, would love to have. So you can explore Fabric a lot. We have already have you know a couple of sessions on Microsoft Fabric on our platform fifth year come by us suddenly who is a part of the Microsoft Fabric team uh, who build that Fabric platform and there are multiple sessions coming up, multiple discussions coming up. Uh, on our chat zoom podcast that you are uh, doing through and, and different platform that we host. You also have expertise in fabric consulting and that we are definitely are going to So thank you Anjani for sharing your insights into data analytics and uh, Microsoft Fabric. Uh, thank you once again and thank you everyone for watching this video and we will meet in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.